Konnichiwa and welcome to level 2 Chrono Reviews. This is the first review I uploaded in 2013. However, this doll was already in my collection in 2012, like uh, a few months before Christmas. However, I didn't get any chance to review it and I have already dressed her up and everything. So, this is not going to be a complete part review like Saber. However, this review is to show and tell my opinions of this A-Zone 1 to 3 scale doll or 50 centimeters as it also referred to. Um, and I'm starting off of course to show how the box it came in looked like. And it is like this with a big sticker with Harry and there's a license sticker there. And Otherwise, it's just white, some information on this sticker. So it's not too much for the world. However, it's nice and clean box. It's long and big uh, to cover those dolls that actually are pretty big. And also, uh, this came into my mailbox as well. It is a cloth set if you want the classic Haruhi. On this doll, it contains a wig and the clothes, so there is a description like that. So this is how the doll will look with if you use those. So there is a new hairband that is slightly different from the disappearance Haruhi version, and also there is the jacket and the. Uh, the classic uniform and a wig with shorter hair. All in all, this is of course, I forgot to say in starter review, and this doll is of course the disappearance version of Haruhi. I haven't personally seen the movie yet, however, I'm a fan of Haruhi series in general and I like this design too. Alright, here is the 50cm 1 to 3 scale Haruhi Susumiya A zone doll. And as you see, it's so tall that I had to put the camera quite a bit away from her in order to, to fit in the whole height of the, of the doll. And um, I need to show you in a little bit shorter, a uh, closer view in a little bit. First off, I can say that this is a very nice doll. Just like Saber, very detailed. However, this one does not have all this armor and stuff. However, I'm quite amazed how all of the clothes and stuff are sewed in... Uh, it's such a small scale compared to life-size clothes. I have made a few cosplay and stuff myself and that's hard enough as it is. So. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to show you articulation and a little bit closer view of the doll itself. So I'm going to do like this and change this focus. Yeah, so here we have Haruhi Susumiya. And some people reason that the Aeson dolls have not as good heads as the uh, Dolphy Dream because uh, those have printed eyes and not glass eyes. However, I don't mind those at all. I can agree that it's a little bit more beautiful with the glass eyes, however, but uh, those are a little bit more affordable, even though they are expensive too. And as you can see, the disappearance version of Harry have long hair. I think Harry he looks good like that. And the wig needs to be placed on top of a bald head. And this hairband has a little bit of pain to put on properly. But it stays on well once you do. And the uniform are well made too, as you can see. Pockets and everything. And outfit came in 
some parts it was the uh, this upper coat and a shirt white shirt under it and there is also the skirt and there's pants the knee socks and very detailed shoes they look just like miniature leather shoes it's really great really and there's also an extra I haven't opened it yet because it will collect dust anyways there's this it's like a winter coat you can put outside the rest of the uniform and to make articulation it is ball jointed arms with elbow joints and ball jointed hands and this torso jointing and the legs are ball jointed the knee joints and ball jointed feet the feet have magnets there is a magnetized base included too yeah, I forgot to say the head or ball jointed as well. There is one of those uh, round bases in metal, and they are magnetic. But when the shoes are on, the magnets inside the feet do not stick on too well, and that makes it kind of pointless unless the character are barefooted. And now to go on with the extra part. There is this smaller hairband for classic Harry. There are the longer knee socks. And the wig comes in a package like this. The shorter hair for classic Harry. And there's this part, which is a skirt and this jacket part, the SOS Brigade logo and the uniform. I'm going to put this on in order to show how the classic hair he looks and all I can say about the disappearance version is that it's really nice but I'm going to display them in the classic look for a while because I want to try out the outfit so just to be clear, the outfit part are a separate extra kit you can buy, a clove set if you want to switch to Classic Harry, because ASO never released a Classic Harry he that was packaged as Classic. Alright, here is Classic Harry. So you can see there is the shorter hair and the other hairband, which is not that much different. The hair in the neck are a lot shorter. And I put on the full outfit, which is the, uh, the brigade symbol and this coat, which is iconic for Yuki. I can't remember Haruhi using this much in the series, however, I think this has to do with the, the movie. I really need to watch that one pretty soon. So there's the white and blue uniform under that with the blue skirt and longer knee socks and it's the same f uh, shoes. Now this is a little bit of classic look for Harry instead of the movie version. And I actually like both versions in their own ways. Haruhi looks really nice in long hair and uh, the black uniform, really stylish and everything. But somehow I still have a lot of feelings towards the uh, classic Haruhi because, yeah, simply because it's classic. So there we go, there is the full Haruhi doll in the classic uniform and this combination is nice for options if you want to switch between the uniforms and whatever you want or unless 
you only like the black one, then you don't need the extra set. However, I wanted both in order to switch and have the opportunity. So, what can I say about this doll? I can only say that it's awesome and it's a great value if you do not want to spend on the a lot more expensive Dolphy Dream Harry, which also are really nice as far as I know. And uh, I can't say much more except that I recommend this if you like the A Zone dolls and if you like Haruhi, specifically if you like Haruhi. So, yeah, I can recommend this, and until the next time, sayonara and take care.